Okay, check, check. Um, to set up your player as a standalone device, um, download our software from our website and just open it up. Next thing, you can go to the admin tab, click on player setup, and this is where you'll give the player a name, say HD225 player, description if you need it, customization, use the name only or append the unit player ID, which will give it the uh, serial number. Time zone is important because this is what your schedule will follow. So I'm in Pacific time. Publishing mode, we are going to be doing standalone. So standalone means that you have a micro SD card uh, plugged into your computer that you will make updates to. And then when, when finished, you're going to walk back over to the device and then plug it in. So standalone, that's what it means, more of a manual process. So we'll click on that. Network configuration, we can use player settings. Um, and then from there, save setup. So we're actually going to save this directly to a blank micro SD card, which I have here. And I'm actually going to format it for FAT32 or XFAT. So it's formatted, completely empty. And this is where I want to save the setup file to. See, player setup was successfully saved. Uh, what we'll see in there is this information. So leave that all alone. What we're going to do now is actually publish something to that SD card. So I'm going to go to um, presentation. I'll start a new presentation here, and I'll name it just uh, Retail Video. Destination can be um, somewhere just on your computer. This is just a presentation file. So if you want to reopen it, edit the video that's in there, just remember where you are referencing it from. So that's just what that means. Target player, um, we can do since it's AHD225. Select that. A couple other settings here. Output resolution, HD. It goes up to 4K, true 4K if needed. Uh, but I'll just do 1920 by 1080. Go to start. And there's two parts to this. There's a layout. So if you say you did want to do multiple zones, this is where you do it in the layout. Uh, you can see I can resize this here. I can add additional zones different zone types, image, audio, ticker, clock, control. Uh, this one is a video or image, some other ones as well. But if I want to do just one looping video, make this the full size of the uh, TV. And then I will double click to actually add my content. So here I need to find where my video is on my computer. So I'll go to open. Um, let me go to video. Okay. And let's say I want to do this one. All right. If you click on it, there's a little preview. I'll save, publish. And then here, I actually want to drop down to standalone player storage under the schedule. Right. And then now I do want to make sure I'm publishing directly to that micro SD card select. So it's going to go there. This is that schedule. So it's going to be active all day, every day. Um, and then, you know, you can do recurring events, specific date, uh, but to be looping forever, just leave it alone. And now I'll hit publish. I was going to write that video to that SD card. Okay. So from here, this is now when you want to plug this into the, take out the micro SD card and then plug it into the player. And now it'll run your video um, forever, basically, until you make another update. 